So, hello, this is uh, Kevin Jones. I'm the Executive Director of SACIA. Uh, you're probably aware by now that we're going to be running elections for the new SACIA board starting on Monday. And uh, I thought it would be a really great idea to introduce you to some of the nominees. Uh, in this particular instance, Sharik Baker, currently uh, the Vice Chair of the SACIA board and, uh, and eligible for re-election, uh, is going to be joining us for a brief chat. And Sharif, welcome. Uh, perhaps a good starting point uh, is, is if I could ask you just to introduce yourself, your involvement in the technical production and, and live events industry. What's your work history? Where have you come from? Hello, Kevin. Thank you very much. Uh, as you said, my name is Sharif Baker. I've been involved in the entertainment industry uh, going on for about 30 years now. Um, in the, uh, quite recently, uh, I've become a chair of the TPSA Council, as you said, and the vice chair of SACIA. And the reason why I did this and being part of the industry for the past 30 years is that the, the industry is very passionate for me. And I've seen trials and tribulations through my journey and my tenure in the industry. And I felt there is a need and an understanding uh, of, of help that is needed in our industry on various aspects. So I regard myself as a brand ambassador for the association and the industry, making sure that we can put the industry first and looking after both freelancers and companies alike. So I want to ask you about your, your involvement with SACIA, particularly over kind of the, the last few years. Um, but I want to encourage you, because I, I, I know that when you and I first met each other, um, there was an inherent conflict between your vision of what the TPSA was all about uh, and my vision of what it was all about. And over the, the years, uh, we've kind of come to a common understanding. Um, but I think it's important to understand that actually, when we first met each other, there was more conflict than, than collaboration. So maybe you can just talk a little bit about uh, that first meeting that you and I had, and and then going on from there, how you've become more involved with Sakia over time. Sure. Yeah, look, Kevin, there's no secret. Look, oh, look, I was born and brought up in the UK. So something like apartheid and colour difference did not mean a thing to me. I saw a person as a person. When I moved to South Africa, obviously I was... Uh, uh, faced with all these different trials and tribulations this country was going through. And once I entered this industry, I, I, I realized very quickly from around uh, the various tables that were out there that the TPSA was a, uh, a, a, a white-only boys club. And, and thus I was very much against that because I did not see color. I wanted us to work in unity. I wanted us to work as one. And, and the various platforms that I found myself engaged with uh, uh, conflicted with the TPSA uh, until that day that we met for the first time and, uh, and, and, and you encouraged me to, to put my money where my mouth is, come forward and speak my heart and say what I needed to say and come investigate a little bit more what the TPSA uh, is about. And over the last couple of years, the TPSA and SACIA, I'm proud to say, is the place where everybody needs to be. I have done a complete 360 with regards to uh, the standards, the professionalism that SACIA and the TPSA offer and will continue to offer, the education component that we offer. Uh, and very and the most important thing, the professional designation that's on the table, especially for young entrepreneurs and the previously disadvantaged, it's like myself. I can now proudly say I am the owner of a uh, TLE professional designation, uh, which is certified for to work in the live event industry. And it's not just recognized here in South Africa under SACWA, it is also recognized globally. And, you know, just with, even if it's just for that fact alone, that is the reason I am with SACIA and TPSA, because of what it can do for in our industry and our community in the industry. So, uh, so now I want to move on to a, a question that's perhaps important in terms of board service. I, actually, I want to talk about exactly that, board service. Uh, so what is it that you plan to contribute towards the SACIA board over the next two years? What's your vision for the future development of our association? I, I think for me personally, I want to be act 
actively involved, literally day-to-day running operation of what we, uh, uh, our constitution strives for as far as SACIA is concerned. I would definitely like to see, especially with what's happening with in recent times with COVID-19, we have an opportunity, like our president said, is to wipe the slate clean and reinvent ourselves and make sure that we do things right from the offset. Not that we've been doing things wrong as Sakia, but we have a golden opportunity now to work closely with government, something that we've been doing loosely in the past. And I, I really want to encourage that we work with government so that we can have a lot more engagement, a lot more understanding of setting up, for example, an ombudsman. So for, for me, it's, it's uh, my contribution to the board is to be actively involved with a team, making sure we take Sakia forward, making sure that it lasts for eternity, that we leave a legacy for our, our young and upcoming technicians to have a home to come to. And, and that, that's my personal goal uh, of where I see I want to see Sakya and the TPSA going. Very nice. So we're going to be hosting a, a webinar at uh, nine o'clock on Monday morning. Uh, if any of our uh, listeners, viewers have questions that they want to ask of Sharif, please send those questions through to, uh, to me, questions at sakya.org.za. Uh, you can register for the webinar at the link below. Uh, and any questions that you send through, I'll make sure that Sharif has them and uh, and I'll make sure that he provides answers to those questions when we get together on Monday morning. Sharif, thank you for joining us. And um, yeah, I appreciate your input and I look forward to working with you for another two years. As do I. Thank you, Kevin. And thank you to Sakia. Thank you.